Great gaming setups can cost a fortune, but they don't necessarily have to. You can find high quality hardware at reasonable prices, especially when shopping online. The best gaming keyboards under $50, for example, have more than enough features to vastly improve your gaming experience. The right keyboard can make or break a gaming setup. A wrist rest can improve comfort while backlighting can help you react in the dark, and media keys can help you easily control your music. If you feel like your gaming system is missing out and needs some love, but you don't want to spend too much, then continue to watch my top 5 picks for the best gaming keyboard under $50. And of course, to see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these keyboards, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start with the list, let me know in the comments what keyboard you're currently using or which one are you planning to buy from the ones I am listing. We're starting the list with the best overall one, the Corsair K55. The Corsair K55 is a membrane keyboard, which means it utilizes rubber domes under its keycaps as opposed to mechanical switches. The result is a softer key press with a nearly silent response. Thankfully, this doesn't translate to spongy keys. There's still a pleasant amount of resistance when typing or gaming. Under the keycaps are three RGB lightning zones uh, instead of more expensive per key lighting. The colors on the key 55 have an excellent diffused glow and really uh, fill up the space with light thanks to the rubberized domes and floating keycaps. The Corsair K55 is a fully sized keyboard 100% and is pretty much the, the same size as your other full Corsair keyboards. With a length of 48 centimeters, it's slightly longer than the K70 keyboard um, due to the extra macro keys uh, featured on the left hand side. The width of the board, 16.6 centimeters, allows for some function keys to sit along the top, and the depth uh, is average at 3.4 centimeter, which makes the board feel somewhere in the middle between low profile and chunky. So the board is a standard size, really, but due to the material, it only weighs 822 gram and feels lightweight to carry. What makes the Corsair K55 RGB a great choice are the function it has. Comparing to most of the traditional rubber dome switch keyboards, it has good responsiveness, gaming optimized key matrix, uh, media keys, on the fly macro recording. The Corsair K55 features dedicated media keys and six extra buttons for macros, uh, which when you consider the board is under 50 pounds is pretty good value. It may not be the best keyboard Corsair has uh, ever created, but it certainly has some potential. Coming right behind the Corsair, we have the best runner up, the Red Dragon K. 582 Surara. The Red Dragon K582 Surara gives you a great RGB mechanical keyboard without breaking the bank. The Red Dragon K582 gaming keyboard has professional red switches which makes the keys easier to press down and more responsive with your movements. The cord is made out of the rubber and the keyboard overall feels really sturdy. I wasn't nervous to play intense games and be aggressive with the keyboard during intense games. Once you plug the K582 Serrara into your PC, you're greeted by the very strong RGB lighting. The keycaps are double shot injection molded and don't sport a lot of bleed through its uh, through the top. There's a slight bleed, however, on the sides, but that mostly blends with the light uh, coming from the exposed clear switches. On the sides of the keyboard itself are two RGB color bars, which automatically make the overall design look better. Dimension-wise, it weighs 2.6 pounds and measures 16.32 to 5.91 and 15.75 inches. For a mechanical keyboard in the sub-$50 category, it is a great product uh, which I deem as a great entry keyboard for those uh, who are testing the waters and just need a keyboard that's better than membrane keyboards. The quality of the keyboard is firm, the red switches feel great during gaming and alright for typing. The noise is there but not annoying when headphones are on. And the LEDs are a cool feature to have. Next up we have the Razer Sinoza Chroma which, is, which has the best durability. The Razer Sinoza Chroma is an ideal gaming keyboard for those not willing to break the bank. Programmable macro lighting and soft, responsive membrane keys make this great for both casual users and hardcore gamers alike. 
Few keyboards on the market today can match the Razer Sinoza Chroma in terms of its compromise between aesthetics, function, and cost. While you could pay for a more robust gaming keyboard, the modest pricing for the Sinoza Chroma still gets you access to extensive RGB lighting options and some of the best client software available for gaming peripherals. The Razer Sinoza Chroma gaming keyboard is fairly large as it's a full-size keyboard. It measures at 18.24 to 6.07 and uh, 1.22 inches. Specifically, the speed and resistance of each key is spot on. Your fingers fly across them when typing, but the keycaps need just enough force to actuate that they don't feel cheap. That speed makes the Razer Sinoza a good fit for the likes of Call of Duty Warzone. Uh, it becomes second nature to cover open ground at a uh, sprint before diving into a prone position when under fire, before quickly tapping open your map to check the location of the gas wall closing in. The Razer Sinoza Chroma is on the cheaper end of Razer's library of gaming peripherals, but packs plenty of features for the price. Next, as the best all-rounder, we have the HyperX Alloy Core RGB. The Alloy Core RGB is clearly designed for gamers but combines many features important for various users. So it's easy to recommend it to any gamer and also more demanding users uh, who wish to have a comfortable uh, keyboard with a backlight which helps during daily work. The HyperX Alloy Core RGB is a full-size keyboard that boasts a fairly elaborate design when compared against some of the um, other options within the, this price point. It offers a predominantly black color theme that is accented by vibrant RGB across all keys and a small strip above the F buttons. The HyperX logo is uh, branded at the top of the keyboard in a chrome style finish, contrasting nicely with the black background. The top left of the keyboard offers RGB customization buttons, whereas the right hosts you dedicated media keys. Measuring at 17.4 to 6.9 to 1.4 inches and weighing 2.5 pounds, the Alloy Core offers a bunch of features like a nifty game mode and disables the Windows key uh, to prevent yourself from accidentally pressing it while in-game. There are a few other functional hotkeys that are worth mentioning, like being able to adjust backlight brightness and shuffle RGB lightning mode. Uh, at the push of a button. Which brings me to the Alloy Core RGB's most attractive feature, it's uh, full RGB lighting. Most quality full RGB keyboards cost a pretty penny, but HyperX managed to provide gamers with a great RGB solution without breaking the bank. Overall, the HyperX Alloy Core uh, RGB is definitely a solid entry-level keyboard. For $50, uh, it definitely brings a lot to the table. A unique design aesthetic, RGB lighting, dedicated media buttons, and even spill resistance. These are definitely enticing features for a keyboard at this price range. Last, as the best comfort one, we have the Rockcat uh, Magma Silent Membrane. The Rockcat Magma keyboard is good for gaming. It has low latency, a game mode button, and customizable RGB backlighting. The Rockcat Magma is a keyboard for gamers who prefer a soft and silent yet tactile feel from a membrane board and are happy to have their whole board lit up like a quest item. With its outlandish lighting uh, design choice, it's a board for flashy 80s retro aesthetic enthusiasts who are uh, looking to do some competitive gaming for cheap. Despite offering cheaper membrane keys, there's still a surprising feel of quality here, with a nice resistance in each switch and a responsive experience overall. Typing on the Rockcat Magma proved to be particularly satisfying, with each key light enough to bottom out comfortably and quickly. That initial impression of the Rockcat Magma feeling cheap also washes away as soon as you start typing on the keyboard. Key strokes are impressively quiet and the individual keys are spaced enough that in inaccuracy is actually quite rare. This makes the Magma a solid alternative to noisier mechanical keyboards and is also a, nice, uh, a fine choice if you're a fast typer. Something else worth mentioning is that it has a ha uh, hand rest that a lot of other competitors of this price don't have one. The Rockcat Magma certainly has a lot going for it. And if you're shopping in a more budget-friendly price range, you're getting fantastic value for money. Smooth, responsive, and tactile. The overall typing experience was, sat was satisfying and offered fast travel across the deck itself as well. All right, guys, we hit the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the product mentioned uh, in this video, you can leave a comment down below in the comment section, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until then, stay safe and take care. Peace out.